So while many of us are being asked to work from home and limit our contact with others, police officers around Colorado aren't given that convenience. Some officers say an increased risk of exposure to COVID combined with rising hostility against police have forced them to reconsider their profession. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas joins us live tonight from Arvada. And Dylan, you found many officers are being a little more cautious in how they respond. Yeah, Karen, on almost any given day, we're used to seeing officers out in their patrol cars, conducting traffic stops, patrolling, and more every single day. But in wake of COVID-19 and the death of George Floyd, we learned many officers are either being told or are choosing to park their cruisers and wait to be dispatched. As thousands of Coloradans take to the streets and millions of others hide from an invisible killer. This has been one of the most challenging years in my career. Police officers have found themselves on the front lines of one of the most trying times the profession has ever seen. It just added a lot more stress to an already stressful job. Arvada Police Detective Dave Snelling is one of the many officers who told CBS4 the pressures brought on by COVID-19 mixed with the aftermath of the murder of George Floyd have taken a toll on good cops. I know there's other agencies that officers have left. Um, the profession. Comparing year to year statistics, CBS4 surveyed more than a dozen law enforcement agencies from Douglas County to the Wyoming border. As Colorado entered the safer at home phase in May, agencies like the Jefferson and Douglas County Sheriff's offices and Littleton police saw officer initiated stops plummet by 64 to 70 percent. In June, as the Black Lives Matter movement gained momentum, Every surveyed agency, except Fort Collins Police, showed a significant drop in officer-initiated contact. Detective Snelling's team in Arvada saw a drop of nearly 53 percent, while Denver and Boulder Police and Weld County deputies showed a decline in contact between 58 and 66 percent. I think you're seeing a huge pendulum shift with society. Metro State University professor Stacy Hervey says the June trend is primarily linked back to COVID-19 and the aftermath of George Floyd's death at the end of May. I think you're seeing officers who, because of what is happening with the community, really not wanting to be as proactive um, in those stops. Hervey says that, combined with Colorado lawmakers eliminating qualified immunity through Senate Bill 217, has made good officers reconsider their profession. I personally knew five officers who, when that passed, started looking for other jobs or calling about retirement. As for officers in Arvada. They're sensitive to these topics, but I think they also understand that they have a job to do and a community to keep safe. As our country and law enforcement try to swing the pendulum back toward equality and peace, those on the thin blue line say their commitment to serve and protect is unwavering. Most police officers go into it because they want to do good. The only thing we can do is go out and keep doing this job and understanding that above all of this, the people that are expecting us to be there on their worst day, we can't let them down. Now, we also asked each surveyed agency to provide us statistics on how many calls for service they had to see if those fluctuated concordantly with the amount of officer initiated contacts. While they did change, it was not at the same rate as the contacts. We should also note there were a few agencies like Fort Collins that did have an uptick in contacts at some times. We have all of those statistics provided on our website, cbsdenver.com. Live in Arvada tonight, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.